Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Monkey Putter with another course review from PGA Tour 2K23. Now the course I'm going to be playing today is called Platypus Bend Tasmania. Um, first time of playing this, so I'm looking forward to this one. So let's head off to that first tee and we'll get this round underway. So we've got a par 5 to open the round with. That's quite clever. I've just noticed there in the uh, in the road there's like a crossing. That's really good. Now that structure there behind the green, that looks impressive. I'll try and get a closer look at that. That's really good. I like that. Okay, so what we've got here, 226 yards to go. Got the wind off the left. Just trying to avoid that bunker on the right hand side all below my feet as well so this is going to go to the right for two reasons it's coming round but I don't think it's going to come around quite enough Nice birdie to start the round. Now I've gone for the, the back tee, which I think from memory was coloured white and it was approximately seven and a half thousand yards or just under that. Just having a look at the view around there, that looks that looks really nice. Okay, 71 yards to go. Let's try the pitch shot. I've not been very good with the pitches in 2K23, it's something I need to work on. Happy with that one though. Got a lovely par three here at the third. It's uphill. One nine six into that wind. Got to be careful not to get too greedy here. We don't want to go long and into the water over the back of the green. Two hundred and seven yards. I think I'm going to increase the loft on this one. I don't want it to go too far. Oh, 
slightly fast, that's a shame. Quite good for distance, but as you saw, I hoiked it left. Okay, so quite a lengthy birdie putt here, not too much movement. Looks a bit of a left to right, and not too much though. I think I've hit that too hard. Yeah, that's a shame. Bit of work to do to save par. Oh no! Oh dear! Well that was a shocking part. I'm not out of the woods yet. Ah, oh, that's a shame. A three putt. Okay, so on to the fourth hole, par four. Not too long, this one. See if I can hold this and get that drop shot back. There we go. It does annoy me how my score card doesn't always come up at the bottom of the screen. I'd rather it did that every time, but I can't find a setting to change it. If you do know of a setting to change that, please let me know in the comments down below. off the left here at the fifth Just a quick look at the view it's really nice large green here now this is slightly downhill so it's going to be playing about 89 yards A little bit of backspin on it. I don't want this to run out too much. Wind off the left. That's a nice swing. Oh, that's going to be a bit short, I think. That's a shame. In hindsight, I probably could have left the backspin off. But never mind. Now, this looks a pretty straight putt to me. 12 feet. Yep, nice and straight. No pars as yet. Let's hope I don't get any more bogeys. It's a silly three putt. Okay, now we've got a par four here. It's a long one, it's over 500 yards. Dog leg left. The wind is off the right, so that's going to help us. We shouldn't need to put too much draw on this, if any at all. The wind hopefully will take it around the corner a little bit. Oh, I've hit that fast. That could be in trouble. Needs a lucky bounce. Oh, and it got one. That's a relief. 194 to go. Wind behind. 
going to hit the six iron, but I'm going to increase the loft just a fraction. Although I am on an upslope. Okay. Too much break on this. Okay, so we've got a par three here. That's a really nice view. Look at that. That's looking good, really good. Now, it's got a long par three. This 212. Wind off the right. I'm going to increase the loft a fraction here. It's going to be a bit short. Just a fraction. The line was good. Now this is a double breaker. Starts off going left and then it comes back to the right. I might just aim this one straight at the hole and I hope it cancels itself out. No, not quite. That's a birdie chance missed. That's my first par of the round. Okay, short par four here, but it's... Goes down and then up again. Got to be careful here not to miss the fairway, otherwise I'm going to be in all sorts of trouble. That's okay. 58 yards to go. Quite a steep uphill lie as well. Fit that fast. That's not too bad. I'd probably give that six or seven out of ten. Now then, another good birdie opportunity. a nice putt. Par five. This is long. It's going to be a three shot or I think. I don't think I can reach this. Oh, hang on. I've got a five wood in my hand. Let's have a look. See where we're yeah, driver's going to go too far, so let's go back to a three wood. Got to be careful, actually. That bunker might, the one in the fairway there might be in reach. Wind off the right. That looks really nice. Look at that. 
Oops, sorry about the tree getting in the way there. That looks gorgeous. That's really pretty. Wow, I'm impressed. That's that's really good. Now then, 306 yards to go. Do you know what? That green, I'm not normally a, a fan of like square or rectangular greens, but that really works. In this situation, with the way that this part of the course is laid out, with the wall, etc., it really, really works. Now then, 38 yards to go. I'm going to try the flop, but I'm going to increase the loft a little bit. Now this, I find... The flop shot is possibly, for me personally anyway, the hardest shot to play. I'm very inconsistent with it. Yeah, see that's gone, gone too far. Hold your line. Now I've misread it. That's a shame. Pretty good front nine apart from that one silly three putt. I'm just going to have a quick look at that car park because I really like the way that's been done. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, it's a shame the wind's not in the other direction. I don't think I can reach this par four. Oh, I've hit it a bit fast. That's going to be in trouble. Needs a bit of luck. Oh, that's going to be in the heavy rough. Now, thankfully, there's plenty of green to work with here because it's difficult to stop the ball coming out of heavy rough. 68 to 76% lie. Stop now. Oh, just caught that slope and ran away from the hull. That was a pity. Tricky little putt here back up the hill. Oh, that's a super up and down from the heavy rough. Delighted with that. We've got a par five at 11. Dog leg right, back into the wind. This is going to be playing long. Two hundred and seventy three yards to go. I might be able to make the front of the green, but I'm not going to get up to the hole. I could risk a driver. Driver off the deck in this version of the game, I found really difficult. I'm going to give it a go. This is risky. A 
That's not a bad swing. It's looking good. That's a great result. I've got that putt for an eagle. Not too much break on this. Double breaker again. Starts off going right to left and then left to right towards the end. Turn, turn. Oh no. So close. Oh, that's a shame. That was a really, really good eagle opportunity. Seventy-nine, if you include the slight incline into the wind as well. Oh no, that was fast. Ah oh dear, just on the fringe. Slow down. That's a fall on the left there. Right. Seven iron. I don't think it's going to be enough on this. It's looking pretty good for a six iron though. Slightly slow. Could do with a bounce to the left. Not bad. This looks quite straight. No! Oh, Muppet! I had a funny feeling it might turn a fraction to the left as it got close to the hole, and it didn't. That's a shame. This is a tricky drive. Got to avoid that left-hand bunker. Might be able to carry it, but it's going to have to be a mighty hit. The wind is helping a fraction. I've hit it 104 percent, but it has to go. No, that's sand. Oh, nuts! It's heavy, rough. Oh no, it's not. It's light, rough. 93 to 96 percent. That's not too bad at all. Okay, wind behind. It's going to be playing about 127 yards. I'm on a bit of an upslope. It's a good swing.
It's quite tricky to read the greens when you've got the shadow of the leaves moving around. I find it very off-putting. That's a good putt. Just four holes left to play. Dog leg right. Tricky dog leg this because it's a dog leg right but the wind is off the right. So I'm going to hit a bit of a fade here. Actually I've just noticed I've got a three wood in my hand. A driver is possibly going to be too much. Yeah. I'm going to go with the three wood and just try and hit a fade around the trees and hold it into the wind as well. I could potentially... No, I was going to say I might be able to hit it over the trees, but I don't think I can. Not with the three wood anyway. And 36 yards to go. Let's try the pitching wedge but increase the loft quite a bit. Needs to bite. Bit of break at the end here. This is what caught me out on the other hole. Okay, this is about 140 yards into the wind. Let's try the 9 iron. It's looking good. Get down, get down. Par 3 coming up at 17. Ooh, it's a long one as well. 2.49. It's downhill and the wind is behind as well. So we can take off about 8 yards. That's 2.41, 2.41 with that wind as well. I think the five wood should be plenty. Possibly too much. I don't think the four iron's gonna make it. Hmm, bit of a weird swing. It's not looking too bad. Could do with that slowing down though. Just onto the back fringe. We'll hit the flag. Oh yes, it's gone in. Great chip. I don't chip in as often as I used to in 2K23 compared to 2K21. Alright, par 5 to finish.
It's a nice drive. Need to avoid that pond on the right hand side. Wind behind as well. This is reachable, but there is a risk here. Must stay out of that water if I can. Well, I've avoided the water. Kick right. No. That should be okay, though. It's a par five. Another chipping would be nice. Not quite. I'm pleased with that, minus 12. Just that silly three putt on the third hole, that was a real shame. That's an absolutely cracking course. I loved it, absolutely loved it. Yeah, I absolutely love that course. What I'm going to do, if I can remember where it is, here we go. Favourite this course? Absolutely. Uh, and I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it five stars because I thought it was brilliant. Now that's uh, Platypus Bend Tasmania, and I highly recommend it. It's a really, really nice course. So many congratulations to the course designer. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button down below, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content. Now take care, everyone, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.